Aloy is back on a whole new adventure, one that's going to allow us to discover the Forbidden West. We've got new game mechanics and new machines, and Guerrilla Games has promised us new mounts and a lot of awesome new content in their trailers. But is this game really going to be as good as all the hype? After Aloy saved the world from the threat of evil AI, it looks like the world has gotten back off track. There's a mysterious sickness spreading, killing both plants and wildlife in its wake. Aloy takes it upon herself to head toward the Forbidden West into dangerous territory on a quest for answers and for a solution to again save humanity and the world. Once again, Horizon brings us an original and multifaceted story, in spite of the fact that it takes a bit to really get going. Just when you thought you knew everything about this world from the first game, new mysteries appear. One small warning, don't be too hasty. We often had to complete side quests in order to gain levels and follow the main storyline. As you explore, you'll learn new things about how this world's inhabitants used to live. You'll no doubt recognize a few monuments from the American West, and you're definitely going to enjoy discovering the diversity of this game's various environments. We highly recommend exploring the amounts. The map is massive and filled with hidden places and incredible panoramas you won't want to pass up. When it comes to battles, this game builds on the mechanics of Zero Dawn, all while highlighting stealth and solid preparation. We noticed improvements to the animations, which are much more fluid and dynamic. Some of the machines really gave us a run for our money, and that made the battles truly grisly. Rising through the skills tree and accessing new equipment which can be improved really makes a difference and gives you a real sense of progression. Pretty much all of these machines have weak spots, and it'll be up to you to locate and exploit them. It's a serious satisfaction to take down one of these massive monsters, and the rewards are also very generous. The battles against other humans, on the other hand, were a little underwhelming. Horizon Forbidden West shows off real improvements when compared to the first game. We'd especially highlight the improved facial animations, which were criticized in Zero Dawn and which have been obviously reworked for this game. Facial expressions in this one give you a good sense of the emotions behind them. The staging is also considerably better, which makes the narration of the story much more enjoyable to follow. The game also takes things up a notch by offering a quality next-gen experience. It takes advantage of the use of haptic feedback, as well as sound elements which come directly from your controller and really offer total immersion in the game. You'll be able to choose between two different performance modes, depending on whether you have a greater preference for solid graphics or for game fluidity. Since we were testing the game on a not entirely finished version, which hadn't yet been completely optimized, we decided to go with the performance mode. In that mode, we didn't run into any problems with frame rate and at an average of 60 FPS. That said, we should note that we ran into a few small clipping problems as well as a few visual bugs, which we hope will be quickly fixed. Horizon Forbidden West aimed high and it didn't miss. The game took us through some incredible landscapes and its storyline was absolutely gripping. We enjoyed following the story of the game as well as exploring throughout its open world. This is a refreshing and original adventure which definitely earns our rating of 9 out of 10.